Hey, my name is Jordan, and I am going to show you guys how to make Benny Benassi's S-Faction synth, which is a very deep, fat bass that you would have heard in the song Satisfaction and a bunch of other of his older tunes. Uh, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is create a mixer and then create a subtractor synth. Your subtractor synth should look exactly like this, pretty much. Um, what The next thing you're going to want to do is add some portamento to the synth. So let's add about 36 to the portamento. And then let's move the polyphony to 1. On the F frequency, we're going to move it down to negative 30. And we're going to move the F resolution to 41. And the LFO one, we're going to move to 25. All right, so now we're going to head over to our oscillators. Make sure you select oscillator 2, so this means that both oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 will now be working. And what you're going to want to do over here is move the waveform of oscillator 2 to 3, which looks like the squiggly line. Leave the waveform at zero on the first oscillator. On both oscillators, change the octave to three. And next we're going to change the mix knob to 80. All right. Now we're gonna head over to filter one and we're gonna click HP12. And then move the frequency down to about nine. Okay. Uh, now we're going to head over to our mod envelope and we're going to move D all the way up to 127 and A all the way up to 127. And on our filter envelope we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move D up to 127 and A up to 127. Alright, uh, that's all we're doing for in our subtractor synth. Everything else will be effects like reverb and equalizers and stuff like that. But So here's what it sounds like now. So as you can hear by that, the sound is a, it sounds a little Benny Benassi like, but it's like very muted, not very much bass, but you can hear the grain in it already. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, create a M class maximizer, which is right here. And on the M class maximizer, we're going to change the input gain to six. So move that up to 6, and then we are going to click the little button that says 4MS look ahead. Make sure that's red, the 4MS look ahead. Uh, now we're going to create the reverb that makes his music sound like his music. It's this, this reverb is, is pretty important. So what you're going to want to do is, on your RV7 digital reverb, change it to large hall using the arrow keys. You want it to be a large hall, and on the size you will make it negative 26 and you will make the damping 0 and on dry and wet make it about 12 would be good alright so next we're going to create a compressor M class compressor there it is alright and here we're going to set the input gain to 8.2 and the threshold will be set to negative 11.1 .1. and the ratio will be to infinite one which is all the way to the right the attack will be one which is all the way to the left and the release will be 119 alright great um, the last things we're gonna do is create two uh, PEQ2 band equalizers so one and two. And on the first one, what we're going to do is set the Q to zero and the grain to the gain to 24. All right. Now we're going to head over to the second one and make sure you click the little red dot that makes B effective. You see that dot? This is only on the second one you do this. And we are going to set the frequency to 40. and the Q to zero, and the gain to 63, which is all the way to the right. And on B, we're going to change the frequency to 90, and the 
and the q to 10, and the gain to negative 64. That's all the way down. All right, this is all you got to do. Now, this is a pretty loud synth as it is, so make sure before you play it, you don't want to hurt your ears. You, make, you go to your equalizer, maybe set your level for this at about 80. All right, let's take a listen. That sounds pretty good. So, the only other things that you can do with with this is, uh, well, not the only other things. The best things you can do with this is just start messing with the the knobs uh, to get the Benassi sound. You like it, the more uh, frequency you add in filter one, the less bass and more grainy feeling you'll get. You'll just just mess around with it, and you'll see start to figure out how Benny Benassi made all of those songs. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it's helpful. You can comment me, message me, uh, and I will answer any questions. I'm going to post the description uh, in the description, the instructions on how to do this in text form. It will be exactly based how what I said. So you can look at it a little slower. And, uh, yeah, look out for my new video coming out soon, which is going to be explaining how Benassi makes his, the synth he uses in more of his contemporary music, like... Uh, say the song bring the noise or it's he calls it his pumpkin synth and i will be explaining how to make the pumpkin synth on reason for